This man was dancing a ballet on the river. The people on the bridge found no one on the river, only a shadow spinning in circles. It turned out that the man was actually hanging under the bridge. Suddenly a man dressed in black and wearing a black hat stuck his head in the car window. Dr. Parnassus heard it and knew it was a familiar face. It turned out that this man was devil. The first time they met was hundreds of years ago. They made a bet to see who would find 12 believers first. And the bet was on eternal life. Devil, who had been alone for too long, finally found someone to keep him company. He let Dr. Parnassus win eternal life, but that was the beginning of the pain. So what if he gets immortality? He will still grow old and ugly. Dr. Parnassus is desperate when he learns the truth. He wandered around and became a settled man. Even though he is so old, he still tries to seduce beautiful women while begging on the roadside. But his old appearance is not appreciated by beautiful women. Dr. Parnassus runs to the cliff and jumps off. Devil sees this scene and bets with him again. This time on Parnassus' daughter. Dr. Parnassus is overwhelmed by love and agrees immediately without thinking. He quickly hooked up with a beautiful woman and gave birth to a daughter with his extensive skills in flirting with women. But he saw her and regretted it. He takes his daughter and wanders around to avoid devil. He makes a few friends along the way and makes money together to support his daughter. On the way home one day, his daughter Valentina saw a man hanging under a bridge. She grabbed a rope and aced her teammate under the bridge. However, the man in white had his hands tied behind his back and was hanging from a rope by his neck. He had a red mark on his forehead and his body was moving with the wind. Valentina picked up a steel fork and kept pushing the rope to swing his teammate up. The teammate holds the man's body and cuts the rope around his hands and neck. The man instantly fell down. Teammate to hands clinging to the belt. Fortunately, the belt is strong or the man would have become a fish dinner. The three of them worked together to drag the man to the bridge. Everyone thought he was dead. As her teammate hammered him in the chest, a steel pipe came out of his mouth. It seems that this thing saved his life. I've never seen anything so bizarre. A dead person suddenly appeared and kept swinging with a smile. Then she donated all her money to him. This time Devil got bored again and asked Dr. Parnassus to bet on a competition to collect souls. Whoever completes the task first in today's will get the ownership of Parnassus' daughter. The offer was quite tempting and would make up for his previous mistakes. So Parnassus agrees to the wager. Dr. Parnassus began to plan how to collect souls. He got Tony's strong support and started to develop his business. He tricked the guests into a fantasy show and stole their souls. Tony started to talk nonsense to confuse the guests. Everyone wants to participate. The rich woman was immediately shocked when she entered the fantasy show. This is her dream. It's all pearls and high heels and crystals. And in the mirror, shows her sexy body and delicate and smooth skin. She couldn't wait to dance with the man who chased her into the show. The man sent her to the edge of hell. The rich woman was very confused when she saw the pictures of dead people on the river. Tony said they are always young and always healthy. It's a pity he didn't become an orator. He will also trick the rich woman to leave the money. The rich woman was really simple because she was happy to get on the boat and go. Everyone saw the rich woman feedback is very good, so they are scrambling to go to the mirror and received a lot of loot. Tony was on the verge of victory, but Tony's enemies suddenly came out to mess up, and once they saw him, they chased after him and beat him up. Tony rushed into the fantasy show. The enemy caught up with him and carried him to the tree to hang him. At this point, the rope has been set on his neck. Tony clutching the rope feet keeps stomping. At that moment, Devil's head suddenly came out of the ground. The enemy was scared and dropped his hand. Devil's mouth opened and his tongue rolled down like a red carpet and invited the enemies up to be his guests. They were so scared that they rushed to get under the fat woman's skirt. Instantly the skirt exploded. All four of them became dead. This time Dr. Parnassus and Devil were tied. The winner between the two of them depends on the last round. Valentina sees her father talking to Devil and becomes suspicious. So she forces him to talk about the past. When she hears that he used her as a bet, she holds her head and accuses him severely. She finishes saying she is a joke and runs away. Tony hears the conversation between father and daughter and resolves to use his soul to help Dr. Parnassus get his daughter back. This man was hanged by someone else. Someone opened the rope and he volunteered to put his head inside. He also smiled very happily and waved at Devil like he was doing something great. The team saw Tony's news and realized he was a hypocrite and immediately ran to reveal his identity. At this moment Tony was about to enter the fantasy show. The two of them were fighting each other and accidentally pushed Valentina into the fantasy show. Tony rushed to catch up with her. Valentina in the fantasy show is dressed up for a charity party. Tony becomes a philanthropist and has a lovely daughter. Suddenly, 
his teammates come out and reveal Tony's true face. Tony carries his teammate and gives him a beating. The whole world of the fantasy show starts to collapse. Valentina becomes the last soul. Dr. Parnassus lost his daughter and Saturday on the edge of the cliff to contemplate. Devil came and tapped him on the shoulder. If you help me kill this hypocrite, and I'll give you back your daughter. Dr. Parnassus said he would do anything to get his daughter back. Dr. Parnassus put a copper pipe in his mouth in front of Tony. Put his head in a rope, his feet left the ladder. Then he was hung from a tree. Tony rushed to get him down and punched Dr. Parnassus several times in the chest. The pipe was immediately spit out. Tony got the pipe and put it in his mouth. Suddenly a group of people in black clothes appeared to hang him to death. However, he cooperated and put his head into the rope and smiled happily at Dr. Parnassus. Dr. Parnassus looked at Tony struggling and smiled, spitting out a steel pipe from his mouth. And Tony thought that the copper pipe he got was real. That's why he was so motivated to die. Tony felt unable to breathe because the copper pipe in his mouth was a fake. With the sound of the rope snapping, Tony lost his breath. Dr. Parnassus asked Devil to give him back his daughter. Devil smiled and said, You are her father. I don't have that right. He lost everything and went back to the streets as a vagrant to beg. By chance, he saw his daughter's back and chased after her. Seeing his daughter live a happy life, he was finally satisfied.